Well, I've been totally vindicated by Kenya police and welcomed into Kenya and my visa honored by Kenya. So uh, I've won uh, round one or rounds one and two of this conflict with the FBI. The FBI being used as a, uh, a battering ram or a slaver's whip to punish uh, me, even though I'm not even alleged to have committed any crime, to uh, punish me for uh, speaking up for the preborn babies, giving them a voice and advocating against the NGOs coming with lots of money from Western countries like the United Kingdom, United States, to promote baby murder through abortion and also to promote sodomy and other Western uh, organizations and stooges and, and, and for, uh, you know, exposing some of the people who are profiting from it. It's the most disgusting industry. It's worse even than the uh, slave trade of uh, hundreds of years ago. And it's still going on in parts of Africa, but it's, it's terrible. Absolutely a traffic in human beings. Absolutely satanic. So if, um, if you ever wondered what it looks like inside of a fairly nice Kenyan jail, the one at the airport's pretty nice as jails go, um, you probably never did wonder that, but uh, here it is. Here's me in jail. And they were pretty good to me. I've got no complaints about Kenya police. And they thoroughly investigated and found I had done nothing wrong. So I praise the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. I've been thoroughly vindicated, my name thoroughly cleared by uh, Kenya uh, CID investigation. And to find out more about who we are, who I am, what we do at Project C, we've been doing this since late 2007, go to www.project c.com that's project c.com project s e e.com we're exposing the individuals and the ngos mostly from the west that are pushing the global abortion industry on kenya and many other countries Nani kema oya mako 
Wow.